Well, the movie Field of Dreams gave a small town man the idea to turn what was seemingly a road to nowhere into a tourist attraction. Regent North Dakota has lost around 40% of its population since 1990, and Gary Graff decided to give travelers something to see to keep his town on the map. He created what you might call an outdoor folk art gallery. Graff put together the incredible sculptures and works of art all on his own. On an unnamed highway in southwest North Dakota, where lush green plains roll up to the sky, the unexpected appears over the horizon. Soaring scrap metal sculptures nestled on the roadside. This is the Enchanted Highway. This is fabulous that this guy came up with this idea to save this part of North Dakota. I think this is wonderful. This guy is 70-year-old Gary Greff. So glad, glad to meet you. you. I'm so a self-taught scrap metal sculptor. See, I wanted each sculpture, each site, to be a picture. Like you're driving into a picture frame, and when you get into it, you go, wow, that's completely different than the other one. Seven works dot this 32-mile stretch of the Enchanted Highway. According to Guinness, Geese in Flight is the largest scrap metal sculpture in the world. Greff draws inspiration from local wildlife and historical figures. Driving this road, you'll see pheasants on the prairie, fishermen's dream, and President Roosevelt on a bucking horse in Teddy Rides Again. Greff began work on his first, The Tin Family, in 1989. 1989 was the year Field of Dreams came out as a movie. If you build it, he will come. Was that at all any oh, yeah. inspiration oh, for this? Yeah. If oh, you yeah. build it, they yeah. will come? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Feel the dreams. You're right. I saw the movie and I go, okay, yeah, if they build, if they build it, well, you know, they will come. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Greff was hoping people would come to his hometown. All right, so here we are in Regent. A genuine blink and you'll miss it kind of place. He wanted tourists to follow the path of the sculptures into Regent. About 6,000 cars do each year. He opened a gift shop and turned the former high school into a 19-room medieval-themed hotel. But not everybody in town has bought into Greff's vision. Well, the landowners aren't being real cooperative right now. To build, Greff needs about an acre of donated property. There's a couple of them that run me off their place. Because they see you coming. Yeah, they, well, they won't even, they don't want a sculpture. Oh, I don't want a sculpture. Get the heck out of here. One guy threatened, uh, I'll shoot you if you don't get off my place. I go, OK, I'm out of here. The town's mentality is they've been a farming community for 100 years. Well, that's great, but you've gone from a town of 400 to a town of 100. Now, that tells you something's got to change. See over here. This is what I came up with to help them out. Now, you guys got to take it and run with it, but I haven't seen any running yet. So while Greff waits for the people of region to come around, he keeps on building with designs for at least three more sculptures. I want these to be a legacy for North Dakota, a legacy for Regent. I don't care about me. I mean, I wanted people to say, if he can do something like this, God dang it, maybe I can do something. You can do whatever you put your mind to it. Just do it. Jamie Wax, CBS News, New York. What an inspiring story. North Dakota lawmakers voted earlier this year to allocate funds to assist Greff in the maintenance of the sculptures along the Enchanted Highway. Before this, for 30 years, Greff used his own money and donations to maintain those sculptures.